we're going to attack people at lobs. At senior level tennis, when people don't have a lot of good overheads, everyone's older, fatter, slower, attacking someone with a lob works out really well. One, it's high percentage. My partner is actually quite good at lobbing now. Two, even though the person at net is standing pretty far back, that's a tough ball to get. Three, I know my partner, so I always check out the net person. And the key is make sure the net person doesn't bring the racket up. I'm watching the net person, I'm watching the server. The server comes in, I check to make sure it's in. Then I read how hard will it be for my partner. If it's too hard, I'm gonna have to back off because my partner will have a weak shot. But that's a decent serve to my partner's backhand, but it's not super hard to return. And I know what my partner can do, I know he'll probably lob. So as he lobs, I check off with the net person. If the arm goes up, I'll run away. But if the arm doesn't go up, I'll close in. Keep an eye on the person in the blue. And that's the key. Whenever you're playing, you check off on whoever's closest to you until the ball passes them. And once the ball passes them, you check off on the next person. So once the ball gets passed, the person in the net goes to the guy in the blue, I watch the guy in the blue. And once you see him turn his back, it'll be a weak shot. So check off the serve, look at the net person. They want to pass the net person, look at the guy in the blue. Then close in a little, because it's going to be a backhand. And so I'm assuming he'll hit down the line to my partner. Um, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't hit short angle past me, or he might throw a lob. And so once you see the backhand, you want to come in a little bit, but your first priority is cover your side. Second priority is try to get the ball going down the line. And third priority is watch the lob. And you have time for the lob. So that's the sequence. He throws lob over me. Whenever you throw a lob, I always aim the lob to the backhand, but look how he comes in. That's the key. Once he clears me, come in. If it wasn't going to clear me, don't come in. That's a tough lob. Look how high and deep it is. My partner is going back for it, all the way back to the fence. He's going to hit a lob. I stop the service line. My partner comes in, but the point in the blue comes to the net. To the service line expecting a lob back. If it's a drive, you close in. But once the first thing you assume on a lob is gonna lob you back. And I just kind of shift to the other side of the court. My partner can lob pretty well also. I keep my attention on both opponents in front of me, checking off on the white and then the blue. I'll check off the person closest to you first and watch my reaction right here. Throws a lob, I see the arm go up. And once I see the arm go up, I get low. See, once I see the arm go up, read it. Stay low so I can dig with my feet. It goes to my head, I duck. And I'm just trying to get the ball left or right of me. I'm just staying low. I'm reading a shot. Sometimes people come up, and the problem is when you stand really up, they're probably gonna put the ball around your feet because it's doubles. So you just stay low, expecting a low volley, expecting a low shot. And your goal is to get the ball back low. Not pop the lava, but get the ball back low. And the coverage is very simple. My partner will mirror the overheader down the line and I cover angle. So I shift over a little bit to my right, just cover angle. And that way you have the possibilities. Some people think, oh, you just go back together, but I can't move. Once the ball racket goes up, I have to stop wherever I am and try to read the ball. If I keep moving at this point, I, uh, one, I won't be able to make a shot on it. Two, it's probably better for me to be split step position, low, ready to get, move forward. If I pack and run away, I might get hit. And then Peter just shoots the gap. Look at the position right, I'm ready. He gets in, he shoots the gap right between us. And that's what you want to do, you want to shoot the gap as much as possible. I should have guessed, I should have moved left to right so he hit the ball. Now, if they attack with lobs, attack back with lobs, but come in. And that was the key difference. We lobbed them, but my partner didn't come in. And they lobbed us and they came in. That makes a big difference. If we had both come in though, that lob would have been over my head for a winner. But play at the percentages. If you lob, come into net, stop at the service line, anticipating a lob back. They lob you, just lob back. If you lob it short, tell your partner, watch out, and there's a poke for him to play the shot. Simple tennis deals with doing the same things over and over again.